forces come in many shapes and sizes. Some are long tugs or pulls. Some are giant heaves or lifts. And some are quick tweaks. But what they all do is move things. Some forces make the difference between life and death. This stunt man is planning to plunge into a paddling pool only 40 centimetres deep. He's going to jump from 12 metres. How do you think he'll manage to survive? Knowing something about forces will help him. When you're at the swimming pool, what's the best way to jump in without getting your head underwater? To tackle a problem like this, a scientist thinks about the forces involved. When you jump out of a plane, a force starts pulling you down, the force of gravity. Then another force starts pushing up against you. This upward force comes from the air. It's called air resistance, or drag. When you open your parachute, there's a change. As it opens, the parachute provides a much bigger upward force, much more drag. Can you explain why the parachute makes you fall more slowly? When you bounce on a trampoline, there's an upward force from the bed of the trampoline. The downward force is gravity. But here, the upward force can get bigger than gravity. That's why you start moving upwards. What do you think happens when the upward force stays much bigger than the force of gravity? Remember, forces come in many shapes and sizes, but what forces do is move things. Nothing can start moving unless it's forced. Some forces are pushes or lifts. Some are more complicated. Parascending needs a pull and a lift. Kites need the same sort of forces to take off and fly. Some forces are twists.
Nothing can start moving without force. Where do these forces come from? Parachutes provide lots of drag, a force that slows you down. But fast swimmers don't want to be slowed down. Dolphins are streamlined. Sharks are streamlined too, and so are penguins when they swim. Although they're clumsy on land, penguins have a beautiful streamlined shape for swimming. Streamlined means having a smooth shape that isn't slowed down by drag. The manta ray swoops through the water so gracefully that it seems to be flying. It's almost as streamlined as Concorde. fish don't need to swim fast and they aren't so streamlined. This puffer fish has lots of drag. Some cars need parachutes to slow down. And skydivers need plenty of drag for soft landings. Jumping into a pool will be affected by streamlining and drag. What fair test would help you find out what shapes are streamlined? These scientists are dropping lumps of plasticine into wallpaper paste and noting how long each one takes to reach the bottom of the measuring cylinder. Some fall quickly. This pointed shape drops all the way in 10 seconds. But others fall much more slowly. All the plasticine lumps have the same mass, but they're all different shapes. The least streamlined takes 55 seconds to reach the bottom. So streamlining does depend on the shape. There's another kind of force called friction. Like drag, friction is a force that opposes movement, but friction happens when solid surfaces rub together. Without friction, you wouldn't be able to run. Your feet would slide backwards on the ground. It's the force of friction that pushes you forwards. But friction can stop movement altogether. Friction often makes noise and heat. Look what happens when you rub on a table with a rubber. The thermo camera shows that it leaves a hot trail behind it. Why do you think matchboxes have sandpaper on the side? Friction can sometimes be bad news. Suppose you've tried on a ring that doesn't belong to you. Too much friction can be most embarrassing. How can you reduce friction? What you need is a lubricant. A lubricant is something that will cut down friction. Oil is a good lubricant. Oil is slippery and will help the moving parts of the bike to slide smoothly past one another. 
Another thing that's slippery is wet soap. Could liquid soap lubricate a finger? Having too little friction can make life difficult and dangerous. Remember, friction is a force that opposes movement. If the friction is reduced, some of that force is taken away. Then you have to be very careful. But some people positively enjoy sliding about. Which are the low friction surfaces here? Can you think of any other kinds of surfaces that are as slippery? If you read comics, you might think that the slipperiest thing of all is the banana skin. <coughs> what fair test could you do to find out whether banana skins really are as slippery as the comics say? Oil, soap liquid, and banana skins. When bare feet stand on them, which do you think will slip most easily? I think the oil's going to win. Because it's a lubricant, it's going to make it go faster. Salt liquid. Also because it's a lubricant in it. You know, it'll slip faster. What about the banana skins? According to comics, they provide the lowest friction of all. Well, well there's, most of it's just make-believe, isn't it? If you look at comics, it's just make-believe. <laughs> when the volunteers are standing on the different surfaces, the board will be slowly tilted. They all have to stand up as long as they can. Who's going to be the first to slip? Is this a fair test? Can you think of a way of testing friction more scientifically? And which of these surfaces do you think has the lowest friction? In drag car racing, friction is all important. Remember, friction is a force. When friction is useful, then the force is with you. It's useful to have more friction than someone who's chasing you. What's the force that gets the lipstick on the lip? And what force can you use to get rid of the evidence?
dough needs both force and friction. Why do you think rock climbers put special chalk on their hands? And why do snooker players chalk their cues? What difference might chalk make to the friction? But back at the pool, friction's not so important. Jumping in is all about streamlining. Divers make their bodies beautifully streamlined and go straight through the water surface. When gannets dive for fish, they fold their wings at the last moment to cut down the drag. But this young one chickens out and avoids going under by not being streamlined. When pelicans land, they avoid being streamlined too. For maximum drag, they stick out feet and wings as wide as they can. So not being streamlined should help you to keep your head above water. That's what you should remember at the pool. And that's why a paddling pool is deep enough for this stuntman. No streamlining, maximum drag. May the force be with you too.